Hello, I am Smruti, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today I am going to show you how to provide access to other AWS identity and access management user and roles after cluster creation in Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. Let's get started. For the purpose of demo, I have created an EKS cluster using EKS CTL. You can create it with other methods as well. After the EKS cluster is created, if you try to access the cluster as a user who didn't create the cluster, you get the error. Checking the IAM user with the AWS command line interface. For example, this designated user John doesn't have authorization to access the Amazon EKS cluster. The cluster creator by default has access to the EKS cluster. We can identify the cluster creator by checking the create cluster API call in AWS CloudTrail. The creator is IAM user Smruti. Configure the AWS access key and secret of the cluster creator and check access. We will add the designated user access to the cluster in the map users section of AWS auth.yaml file. To apply the config map, Let's run the kubectl apply command. You can also do the same thing by editing the AWS auth config map. After adding the user, let's change the AWS CLI configuration to use John's credentials to check the access for that user. User John can access the cluster using kubectl commands. Now let's add the user to the cluster if the cluster was created by an IAM role. We will show it with cluster 2. We can identify the cluster creator role by checking the create cluster API call in CloudTrail. Check if this IAM role has the assume role permission. If it doesn't have this permission, then add it. We will assume this role in the terminal. This role has access as it was the creator. Let's add the designated user access to the cluster in the map user section to your AWS auth YAML file just like the previous time. Apply the config map using the command. Let's change the AWS CLI configuration to use John's credentials.
Now we can access the cluster as user John using kubectl commands. So now you know how to give IAM users access to EKS clusters created by an IAM user or an IAM role. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.